right, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more Tears of the Kingdom. Um, we just finished the third dungeon, which was the Amazing Lightning Temple, which stands right behind Riju now, which is really... Oh, you have a quest. Hi. Um, <laughs> that wasn't there before. Um, but yeah, the Thunder Temple is awesome. Just the whole build up with the Gibdos, uh, the scenery of everything, stuff with the heroines, uh, the Mirror Shield, which we still have, this guy. And yeah, today I just want to do more around the deserts. Uh, now helping the restored Gerudo town and uh, just kind of, you know, whatever lies beyond. So, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're having a great Friday now. Oh. Yeah. Okay, read you guys a second point. Have you been to Lookout Landing? Oh, Blaria is there. Okay. Hmm. Hasn't been around here recently. Okay. Hmm. After I became a sage and returned to town, discovered an interesting ancient reference. Seek out the swordsman upon the sand and look where she points. There's treasure waiting under... Ooh, okay. Because I knew the swordsmen, like, the statues used to point to, like, where, like, the shrines were, I believe, in Breath of the Wild. Like, to get through the sandstorms. But now there's treasure. Hmm. Hmm. Swordsman upon the sand. Treasure of the Grudo Desert. It could be, like, anything. Maybe Thunderhelm, if that's in the game. But, you know, I'll take that. Ooh. <laughs> I love these mirrors so much. We still kept this guy for a while. Oh no, it's boarded up! Wait, we can probably get into the main e entrance. I would assume. But it is all restored. Aww. Well, I really like when it was all ghastly, but I mean, this is technically better. Saba. Saba. <laughs> Yeah, wow. no more fear. Boost your confidence? Uh, work on perfecting your signature recipe. Mm. The cookbook from the... Oh, cooking class. Mm, that'll be fun. Yep, we have... <laughs> it's the arrow shop, but not with what you fuse to make these arrows instead of the elemental arrows. Saba. Oh, now they can talk to us. No more hiding. How about you? Saba. Saba. Oh. I love how there's the Gerudo Wards, now the Gerudo Slang. Oh. Bomb flowers go boom. Yellow go bzz. <laughs> Crack. Boosh. Automatopias. We love them. Basak. It's fresh. Fresh from the Highlands, maybe. Hey. Hey. Savak. Savak. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's two spot plants, a cheaper one, with less benefits. Wait, is there the armor? Oh no, it's clo- <gasps> Wait, is that an inside? Aw. No, it just relocated fully now. Okay. That's how you bought the Vi sets, which I don't know how to get in this game now. Because I assume all the Gerudo talk to you different if you're a Vi. Fighting over. Not gonna miss the sand shroud. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Riju was young. She grew to the best vi among us all. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Okay, the wells aren't fully fixed. <laughs> I just like jumping in them usually. I didn't think I fully explored down here. It's it's so cool that it is here. Also, all the love letters, just copy and pasted. This is really cool, though. I just love all those tunnels now. Oh, we can get out. Ah, we're careful enough. That's cool. So goodbye to the wild berry patch, though. You will be missed. Hi, Cora. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I just want to explore around uh, the town again and also see the new area. Because what became of that now? Also, it's funny that they sent all these bottles down, but they're just <laughs> going to the Korok. Yeah. 
you at long last. <laughs> You're the rule is fated to meet. <laughs> the Korok's probably so confused, just constantly getting these. Okay. Can you fall to its source? It's kind of like loosely down here. It's about all though. So I wasn't there. Hmm. Does this lead to something? You need to one of the buildings. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there was a hole in the floor. Okay. But now it's fixed. Right? Yep, okay. That's where the hole was in the floor. Dig inside the secret shop. Okay, so they fixed it along with everything else in the town. Which makes sense. Because now, oh. Okay, this is a town hall. What happens if we... Oh. Arrows. <laughs> I don't know what type of fish you're trying to catch with that. I don't think I can climb the rope, sadly. Okay, let's go into the town. Or the town. Group shelter. Yep. Aww. I'm busy right now. This guy's literally... <laughs> it's the person who's setting the watermelons down the river in uh, Breath of the Wild. And now they're setting bottles on the river. Being a mystery polluter wherever they are. And they still didn't let this guy out. Poor dude. Even after the crisis. Couldn't have given him a break, you know? I can't talk to him. This is the jail. You gotta break the rules, yeah. I, I'd, uh... Join one of the the romantic classes in the morning and just keep like interrupting it, and that's how I got thrown in prison. Stupid foe. We used to be able to talk. Oh, there we go. Uh, everyone got him above ground. He doesn't get to see his daughter, which is the only reason he tried visiting, but got snagged. <laughs> from do it from inside the cell. If you shout loud enough, they may not hear you. Uh, oh wait, I know this is good for now. The ball. Someone was using it as a backrest before, so I couldn't grab it. Oh. I thought that's the goal, anyways. Oh, I kind of. It's kind of sad that it's quiet. I really liked this earlier. It was like all full of everything. You know, nice to get it behind the surface, but still. Oh, they still do their classes down here. Okay. I wonder what happened to the upstairs class area then. There we go. Let's be useful. Hmm? <laughs> yep. Do I get a watermelon again? <laughs> I keep getting watermelons for delivering these. Find another orb? Yeah, sure thing. Also, yeah, on a totally side note, uh... We did just get our first uh, stats video a couple hours ago. Um, it is on the fusing system in this game. Um, and basically it is, yeah, it covers like fusing durability. So whenever you attach materials to a weapon um, or just about most things actually besides other weapons, it adds like 25 raw durability to the weapon. So it's like a second durability meter it adds and activates whenever something's fused to it. So pretty much the majority of weapons can get up to 25 extra durability when you fuse it with something. Um, that, and then, uh, some weapons aren't as high. So, like, Gruta weapons, uh, it's only, like, extra five durability, because attaching material greatly enhances the power, but doesn't add much durability. So, there's things like that, but it is basically works like a second durability meter that only activates when something's fused to it. So, if you want to check out the video, it'll be just in our, just channel's video section. So, maybe after the stream, I'll start linking it down below. 
but just like small stats videos because I can't do a whole lot until you know I beat the game obviously but anything that's helpful because now knowing that makes just so much more peace of mind just like playing like okay um I know how the fusing works uh so even like you know if we fuse a rock to a royal claymore we're still getting an extra just 25 hits out of it adding to whatever the base durability is so yeah well after the stream I'll link it down below so if you're watching the VOD it should be there Oh, yeah. Count me in. We can help, can't Hi. we? Very special lesson. We have a vote here with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how you talk to. Oh. Vote. This person was timid, and we couldn't figure that out right away. <sighs> Pratana. Okay, they need a drink from the canteen. <laughs> they can't talk to a dude without alcohol. How sad. Oh, sorry, it's never referred to as alcohol, but we'll just say soda, you know. Uh, but it seems like the bartender couldn't make that drink because of the whole crisis going on. So yeah, just for a recap, uh, we just finished the crisis in Gerudo Town, or like the Gerudo area. So, most of the people went up from the fallout shelter, which is here. And then, uh, yeah, just a couple loose things down here. Oh, don't fall in the pit. So that means yeah, if I go here, the bartender is no longer there. But the bar is right there, so maybe I can try to do something. Let's see. It's night time, so the bar should be pretty open. We did a good job restoring this place, and it's mostly back to where it was. Hello. Fought <laughs> to save the town. We defended it against lots of Gyptos, and that was so much fun. The calm after the storm, before more desert storms. Able to return to your canteen. First drink is on the house. Everyone can enjoy the special version of my signature drink. Noble Pursuits. Ah. It's probably a non-alcoholic version. <laughs> there we go. We can actually make them now. A popular fruit juice in Gerudo Town. Its tropical flavor will cheer you right up. That's awesome. Mm. Aw. Inspired that I heard a new Vi was gonna be coming to town. <laughs> Who's the new Vi though? I'm I'm not a Vi. No new yeah, they keep referencing a new Vi coming to town. It's supposed to be Zelda? I don't know. Yeah. Boost your energy. Only the first one's ah. free. Let's see, how do we make it? Ah, oh, okay. So palm fruit. Uh, watermelon, volt fruit, so just a lot of desert fruits, and then rock salt. So, like the seltzer on the rim. Yeah, it's a fruit juice now, because, uh, I see why they did it too, because in uh, Breath of the Wild, it was an alcoholic drink, but they had to kind of get around it. But because that was in the game, uh, they had to put that in, like, the, like, the game's, like, ESRB, like, rating thing, like, that you see on the box art. Because whenever a game has alcohol, you have to, like, state that it does. So they purposely changed it for this game, so they didn't have to do that with tears, which makes sense. <laughs> I believe it's the only, or maybe one of the only Zelda games with alcohol mentioned. Even though it's not explicitly alcohol. But I don't know, the classes, <laughs> they couldn't fix the shot, they just moved underground. Blood Moon. Okay, before the Blood Moon, we are gonna take that class. <laughs> we can beat out the Blood Moon, right? Go. The door is just permanently open. Well, this is more pressing, clearly. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
Help me in. Hi. Okay. <laughs> well, we have the drink. Oh. Which, yeah, we couldn't do this before. Because crisis. <laughs> Patina? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> just help him out. So just fruit, you know? Make him feel happy inside. <laughs> Maybe the jester is what counts. Do you go to canteens a lot? They have wonderful drinks there. That isn't all you know. You can relax and meet people. See, it just opens up the door for a conversation. <laughs> yeah, communicate your needs to one another. Oh. Do it on an unspoken level. Mm. There we go. <laughs> just naturally opened up the conversation. So it wasn't even the drink itself, <laughs> it was the offer. Big first step. Mm? Your students are willing to engage. Okay, <laughs> who's next? Uh. The first one got scared because they didn't want to look at our face, so we put on a Lionel mask and then that masked their fear. So, oh. Delton, show us what you know. <laughs> no reason needed for practice. I've been abandoned by love, by luck, by happiness. This one's going to be a hard one to break. Setting yourself up for disaster. I'm fated to be unhappy. <laughs> Steer clear or you'll catch my misfortune. <laughs> Not one of these people. Mm. The easiest people to start a conversation with, clearly. Your own worst enemy sometimes. <laughs> I know many Deltons, it's okay. <laughs> Oof. I've told you already that every time you sigh, you push your own happiness away. Oh. I know you say that. Oh. oh. You have to find your confidence. We have to help him with something else, don't we? Mm. Feeling the pain from her last relationship. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a certain accessory. Oh. <gasps> the garland. The... Oh, that's what that's for. The accessory, it's the, uh, it's the ring garland from Kakariko, right? Oh my god, I have Blood Moon. Because <laughs> it says something about like happiness. Happiness and love, it kind of reignites feelings of that. Of <laughs> so I was wondering what that was for. <laughs> so thank you, interrupting cutscene. We have to get it all the way over there. Let's see Nivo overcoming the stand shroud. I sighed again. <laughs> hmm. The spirits go here. Okay. So we need three more. I know where one is. It's in the bazaar. Again, this is very neat. <laughs> hmm. Ferocious. Not light dragon, but still. I need one more light dragon part for upgrading our champion's tunic. I'll try to do that. Bazak. <laughs> We have a whole wheat field in Hateno, too. But okay, for the class, yeah, we need to literally get a ring garland from... Oh, just a very far distance. Also, hi. Uh-oh. It's important to Dahlia. Free to use anything in town, but I shouldn't touch that. Uh, probably need to wait till daytime. In the meantime, let's try to get that one over. Yeah, we have, a, we have a lot to check out here. Like, <laughs> we're just kind of getting reacclimated, but this is cool. Oh, that the avatar. 
Yes. <laughs> and she looks so cool in this game. Get closer. Okay. <laughs> Gibdos are gone, but still interesting deserty stuff. A lot of it too. The cobblins. Mm -hmm. What do we even use now? We just have these torches from the dungeon that I'm like, you know, don't really need to use that. Um, the horrible hammer thing. Um, I will craft something with the spear. Because, yeah, we're getting a Bokal one part from this. So I'll use one for the fight. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Gerudo! <laughs> Spears are so nice. <laughs> You guys can't help. It's already badly damaged. <gasps> These Gerudo weapons are so weak. Sadly. We lost a single fight. <laughs> okay, that'll have to do. So not a good pull of your materials. Oh, read you. We saw this earlier, but... There we go. <laughs> I was like, okay, more lightning symbols. It's probably an ability. An ability it was. <laughs> okay, one of those. They're very plentiful. I like using long range sniper bows. They do more damage too. Was this over here the whole time? I didn't see that. Yeah, it was at that base. I didn't see this base actually. This is so cool. I love what they did in the desert. Bye bye. Yeah, it was just for you for now. I also always make it worth it. Like, wait for him to stop for a second. Yeah. Vocal arm. Does pretty good damage, just 20 for one-handed. Although, barely lasts, but still. Just the fact that it is something is cool. Oh, get that before you do. Now do you want to help? Long step. <laughs> You're a bat destroyer. Yeah, this could just help prod the bats around. I might just put a... I mean, anything we fuse to it will increase the durability by like 25, so. Oh, one of these. I didn't even see this one at first. Yeah, we're close. Finally badly damaged. Oh no. Zone I charge. <laughs> it's the same thing. Thank you. It's one fifth of a really good material pull from one of those gumball machines. Because if you put five in the minute, it gives you like 50 parts or something. I didn't exactly count, but it was a lot. See, so yeah, interesting structures. The other had a claw hammer. Oh, so does us. <laughs> I wouldn't have fallen that in the sand. You. Probably up. Yeah. We're going to the top, aren't we? Nope. <laughs> as soon as we find a pattern, we lose it. There we go. <laughs> Walked right into that one. It likes being difficult. Okay, it's there. Nope. There. <laughs> well, we are going to the top just very slowly because it's going to be there. Yep. <laughs> Predict it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> These flowers are basically my brain whenever exploring any new area in the game. Just like, oh, this cave. Okay, weave through here. That cave. Let's go back to where we were. Uh, <laughs> Just weaving in 10 different directions. 
It's fun though. Second, where's the problem? Right there. What's well, your fault for having an underside? There, right. A little closer, just for the fun of it. Hi. Ooh. What? <laughs> Why did that make you? What was that reaction? That was very abnormal. Not what normal bokoblins do. Always having to find a new... Whoop. Nope. Now when you guys finish him off. <laughs> they have to go down the path. <laughs> Weapons up. I know a bolsa would fry him, so... Check that next. Yeah, Minion Boss is very interesting. Read you. <laughs> I still have a habit of calling her that, and now that she's in this game, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> now I really have to change that. Okay, what's our like normal hitty weapon? We <laughs> have so many dumb weapons because we just we just had extras, so it's like, I don't know, do whatever I guess. Oh, ladder's busted. Oh, nothing we can do. Until we do that. I'm just gonna bust this one up because it's lower now. It's the only reason I'm a mystery to boomerang like that. Because at least he seemed pretty calm in the desert. Um. Level that one shots a barrel, but that doesn't. Well, a crate, rather. Because all the crates are designed to get one shot with any two-handed weapon. Guess we're screwed. Just don't get hit by the pointy stick. Ooh. New boomerang <laughs> already. <laughs> you missed. You had that one. You just had to try mildly. Oh. You get bouncied off. Some damage. <laughs> Notice that all of our things are weak in that regard. So we're just gonna make a master weapon and call it a day. <laughs> what better thing to fuse to it than uh? Yeah, I just we just have so many, so it's like we might as well give it to bones break easily. Uh, this just always seems like our best choice. Like, there we go. Bouncing spear. Way to mystery to grow a weapon. <laughs> yeah, the sad thing is he just breaks super fast. Hello. Ooh, we got it. So we pick this up. We're gonna place probably the bat. Well, the bat can be our new hammer weapon. We don't really need a torch, honestly. Um. So we have this. We have a shock tail one. We can always make a new fire one. <laughs> Although we do have that one, so maybe an ice. Yeah, let's make an ice tail one. I feel like having a boomerang of each elemental is nice. You just go. There we go. <laughs> One of those. Um, 
That's kind of whatever. They're low durability. Powerful, powerful. All very powerful. Might as well start using up some of that stuff. Just because we have it. That's a very strong weapon, though. Sand Seal Hammer for just random breaking, because it's fun. Uh, we still have a good Stealth Strike weapon. Water to put up fires. That one just made a Ferocious weapon, because I was like, why not? So I would say interesting variety. Yeah, as long as we have a spot for three boomerangs, a nice water rod. I still want to be able to just find a way to dock that uh, sea breeze boomerang somewhere. Because I think, you know, when we eventually do Terrytown, we could probably get a house with mounts. That's just my assumption here, so. And I've had this assumption for a long time, so I hope it stays true. I guess we'll see. There you go, the full fruit stash. <laughs> How awesome. Let's use up the seal hammer, finally. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Should be our go-to hammer thing, just seal. That's nice clumps. I want to check out the area. Oh, one of the construction guys. Of course, you're over here. We'll say I want to check out like the Arbor's Grounds Oasis area. So. Oh, you know what? This is actually pretty easy. Oh, wait, can we just... Oh, it's got one of those small bottoms. I hate that. Never mind about the easy part. I guess we fuse this rock with, with the rupee on it. I just want to see how this works. If, if that's all it takes, I'll be amazed. I don't like that one. We're going to let it fall. <laughs> Needs a bit more. Seems like it stays permanently the way it is, so if it's just really picky looking, I'm like, nah. I have more pride than that, you know? There you go, just stick it in. Perfectly. Take that off. So we got that. We're just gonna draw the base with this. Maybe the crate, too. I, I see that. Because if that never moves, because there's so much weight, then nothing should move. Yeah. And we just doubled its weight. It can only move based on what's in there. That's, that's BS. <laughs> He's not standing. <laughs> oh, I don't want a crooked sign here. Are you kidding me? I have a little more pride. Just a dash. Put it all the way over there. Why? I need to find how we do this one, actually. There we go. Okay, so that's... Maybe an equal four sides just to kind of move around. I forgot about that. Thanks. Okay. And what if we. I don't know. No longer a waiting manner. Thank you. 
You know, I added more top weight, so we'll offset it with just one of these. Just somewhere. If it didn't move wrong while you've just fused it, then it should be weighted just okay. Or rather, instead of that, we should go with a plank. That should be lighter. That is not snapping right to Annoyingly so. That's what we want to do. That is not what we want to do. Please just snap. Right there. <sighs> if this thing moves easily, then... You just can't move anymore. You just can't. Yeah, that's fine. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's not a very crooked base. It didn't tilt forward completely. So it's more acceptable. We have to have nearly half of those done around the world now. Please. Journal. Lookout post. Logbook. Oh. By Sudri. Desert has been calm, so I've ever seen it for quite some time. No raids, monster attacks, bandits. Should be happy about that. Report events that are out of the ordinary, though. Can't leave my post. Can't be bored. Look, a post is going to be shut down. Turns out that wasn't the case. Because we're building a lighthouse to keep the bazaar and Grudo Town to communicate better. Okay. Yeah. It's a further lookout post, but bigger. Which is good, because, yeah, there were those storms. Just a nice beacon. Last day at the lookout post. Aw. <laughs> Meanwhile, to do is literally building here. Just like... <laughs> Not much, you know, time for value. But yeah, supervised new training area. Built at the Southern Oasis. They were talking about that. Something about mobility and combat. Direct way to help keep the desert safe. Okay. So we have two things. We have Southern, Oas Southern Oasis has something for training and mobility. Um... And then the statues lead somewhere, apparently. They're gonna have to be impatient. It is a quark, at least. At least right to there, okay. Oh. One of these. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was just a jump, not a glide. Well, that works. The sandbirds. We have them all, don't worry. A lot of the compendium is filled now. Go if these fruits can build a noble pursuit now. Oh, shot guy. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Get sealed. <laughs> or maybe, no, we shouldn't sh shock him. Uh, <gasps> Molduga, 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 Molduga. Been a while since I've seen one of you. Fire. I think he drew okay. <laughs> You know, Bo. Oh. Yay. Boomerings are just so much fun. Why do I hear? 
Oh crap. He saw us. Um, we gotta... We gotta distract him now better. Woo! Oh my god! He let up! Bombs! We missed! No! Okay, get distracted by that. Maybe you won't miss me. Okay, they actually missed now. <laughs> there we go. Well, that still works. Hit the belly for bonus damage. Get it after the move. There we go. Just a tad bit. They're also weak to lightning, so maybe we should wait. Is that a good picture or no? Decent. Got the eye peeking at me. Decent is we're gonna get it. <laughs> oh, that works. Riju. Let's go. <laughs> Channel this lightning. How old does this work? It does a little damage. Nothing compared to that though. We can fry him! Come on, guys, just keep frying him! Keep it up! Keep it up! Keep it up! Yes! <laughs> oh, that was good. A whole team effort. Ooh. Good job. Oh, we got the Molduka parts now. I need those. The jaw! That's a new one. Don't get my uh, shadow in the picture. 32, okay. Shape of Laws Moldugo, some maneuverability in the sand. And that is a lot of guts. Guts usually sell pretty high. There we go. I should try all the fins at some point. Fins and wings. There are our first Moldugo parts. What are we sacrificing? Nothing, I don't think. No, nothing. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the king's still in this game. Maybe not. Compendium though, yep, we'll do a jaw. And then monsters, we got. I wonder where he fits into this. Oh, okay, right after the Hinoxes. I'll get a better one at some point, but that's good. So now we have, hmm, all the Hinoxes but black, and then we have another Talus variant that I don't know about. Because we got normal, we got Luminous, Rare, Igneo, Frost. Yeah, I don't know what else there could be. <laughs> Something else for a Talus, son. Doesn't seem like there's a spot for a Moldu King, though, which is okay. Basically the same thing. <gasps> I know exactly what you are. You guys get back. <laughs> Serious measures here. We look we look at me. <laughs> okay, I guess he wants to face that way. Yeah, honestly, why not? Woo. There we go. And as soon as you stop, it'll be game over. Keep doing circles. Be mad. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs> Can't let him bury back under because then they hide forever. Ooh. 
Oh, that temple is so cool. Bleached in sun. You fire very well now. I think in Breath of the Wild they always tilt it to the up <laughs> a little bit. Blues are nice and even. Electric. I'm sneaking up probably won't work. Oh well. <laughs> you saw my friends, but not me, so. Apparently. Okay. You do that. I'll get some, some fruit plucking done first. No. Thank you, actually. Oh, the headshot can be deadly, though. If time incorrectly. Don't do it again. Woo! <laughs> the surge. <laughs> Good. It's like a mass sword simtar. Kinda. Pikmin version. Okay, we got all the fruits now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it wasn't moving very fast. Made it easy. Oh, so yeah, that's the oasis. That's Arbiter's Grounds. And there's a shrine. And I just love surfing through the desert. It's just always a great time. We'll get a seal, too. Southern Oasis training area. Surgery. Oh, that's the person who was uh, manning the lookout who wrote the diary. Here's the Vaux fought alongside our soldiers. The training ground, uh, stamina, willpower, and smarts. Oh. Starting line for the desert race. I'm excited. Only grew to warriors were allowed to undergo training. <laughs> Since you've already proven yourself in battle, make an exception. <laughs> okay. Oh. No rules, let's just race. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna run you ragged. Is it a seal race or is it using the Zonai stuff? Must pass through seven arches before reaching the goal. Use whatever advantages you can think of. Ooh. Oh, we, we can use our own creations. Three and a half minutes. Oh. Okay. So it seems like a lot of these cloths are minigame based. Because we got the Goron one from doing uh, the minecart minigame. We can do that. Oh. <laughs> the wickets. Arch in the rocky hill gets harder to see. Oh, so it's just a cross country sort of oh. thing. <laughs> running. We're, we're going to do more than running. But this will help for at least the beginning. Covercraft? You Go. bastard. Go! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah. Our own personal zoom mobile. Hmm. A little seal. It'd be pretty fast too, I getcha. But this is fun. <laughs> Should put a rock in it at first. <laughs> really got a head start. Oh. This is quicksand. Which we can glide on. We kinda need to as well. <laughs> I love this cross-country style race. And up there. We could move our mechanism to get there? I don't know. Because I don't know if there's more quicksand after this. Or just build a new one, yeah. You know, three and a half minutes, we got this. Other than gliding. It's like we can build other stuff. There's a sinkhole there. Interesting. Oh, I can't use my abilities. 
<laughs> dancing in the music. Literally glitch straight to it, no ground touch. Oh, this is not bad. Dude, in two minutes. Unless there's something unexpected, which... Oh! Oh my god, it's single city here. That's a cool way to check it out early. I wonder where the sinkholes lead. They may not not all be bad. I saw his divots from afar. I'm like, why is there divots everywhere? Woohoo! Two minutes. Well done, soldier. <laughs> okay, that was fun. If we start with the rocket, we might have passed two minutes. I don't know if that's going to be for an extra thing, though. Oh. 202. Oh. 202? You're better than Captain Tiki. Oh. Riddle Favre. We're putting this on <laughs> right away. Oh. Graduated from a mere trainee soldier. Thank you. Oh. So I guess if you just top your record, you get more. Oh money or something, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I mean, we could try one more. Oh yeah, bird glider stuff too. Oh. You know, let's do it really fast and beat two minutes at least, maybe you get another prize out of it. Oh. <laughs> Can do an aerial one. Uh, I think the only rule is that there's no limits. <laughs> Not even a rule. Whatever goes, goes. I'm just going to do that. Let's get a steering wheel. Let's get a cart. And let's get two rockets. Which we need more of those, I get that. That's a lot from you. If we don't get anything special, we'll probably still get good rupees, so. Go. <laughs> because with this way, we don't have to climb. I don't think it matters, I just... As long as it's not going in an odd way. Should be able to do just fine. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, go! Oh! Yes! <laughs> well, that's a start. <laughs> hmm. Burglars don't last forever. It seems slow because we're flying. But I think this is still... It might be the same speed, but... The goal is if we make it over there, then we save time. So at least past two minutes. <laughs> I don't know how to really make this one faster, honestly. Land vehicles can just get crazy fast in general. See. It's gonna start expiring in a moment, so. We will have to build something else. Three, two, one, blink. Maybe not. There we go. Blinks are always inevitable. Pop to the side. So we can do that. Auto build a uh, little sand speeder. Glad we have these. They're very nice. There we go. I don't know if a minute 30 is going to be a reasonable record to break, but... Minute 45, sure. Just don't go in any of the pits. Oh, like that. We can do this in the next 15 seconds. Yeah. Either way, we still topped a record, so... There's got to be some insane way to do this. We just keep building rocket ships more after the other. 
Because catapult will work because you got to go through the checkpoints. Hmm. Oh. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Something to celebrate. Party lizard. <laughs> what an odd objective. Or reward. Okay, so. I think it's just random prizes. <laughs> That's something I would just want to pay 10 rupees for. So not always worth redoing, I see. It's still cool. Um, let's do the shrine so we have a war point. Then I'm going to switch my glider out. Yeah, the oasis. It's still here. Any oddities in the trees? There was a couple of tricky Korok seeds, uh. Remember in Breath of the Wild's Lurelin, there was a really odd one. Where there was like an apple in between like three palm fruits. And if you take the apple out, you get the Korok. Okay, I like these fruits. Yummy. Also, good thing the Mulduga's gone from here. <laughs> Would not have been very fun for the race. Gave it an edge at least. Okay. This glider. Anything really. Yeah. I like the options. Sort of sand puzzles. Drifting flame. Um. Do we need that or? Sorry, I'll wear the keep that. Oh. Throwing flame. second. No, not that, but I think I understand it. So it's not throwing, but it's the fact of having something aerial. Is it not? Gotcha. Drifting flame! Drift right where you need to go, please. There we go, that's the first one. That's the second one. <gasps> we are evil! No! We almost got it perfectly. Oh, it stays generously lit. We did it quite well, actually. Just, we're so close. I don't know, just make it work, you know? Like. Oh, second. There we go. <laughs> Surprised we almost got that all in one go, too. That was pretty good. I just gotta find the chest in here. Okay, you can keep going. I wonder what that would be. Very hidden, I assume. It's never in there. Um, maybe it's if we, yep, if we lower the platform. <laughs> just as I thought. Uh, 
We have, we have a crap you. Yeah, we do. Okay. That was our chest. Good. It's like I had to do something with the elevator itself. That was cool, though. Keep the flame adrift. I assume that's the way you would go about it. These bow shots would be hard with a little screen in front of you. It's just some way and it, and it works, so. A way is a good way. Nice. Okay. So, uh, Gibdo is weak to elemental attacks. I guess water counts too. Because I noticed right off the bat, Gibdos were weak to fire, ice, or electricity. I guess we can just do that shrine first because it's close. Then we'll get the glider. Nice. Your friend is Instagon. Get him, guys. Right. Read you? Do some badass stuff. <laughs> nope. Read you took too long. Maybe next time. I like how she puts the swords away though, though. The twirl. You guys want to handle this? All three are ready. There you go. It was just a matter of who. Oh, see, I like the juju jellies. Because, uh, yeah, they're technically better than the fruits in most cases because they have a bigger AoE. So, I mean, like, if you don't want to self harm yourself, fruits are the good option because it distributes the effects without possibly hurting you. But the Choo Choo is much better for a large pack, but you can also get hurt in it easier. So, really depends. Because Choo Choo Blasts are a lot bigger now. <laughs> the whole gang watch me. Let's get ready for the stealth strike. Oh, that was close too. Still no, uh, tails. I'm having a lot of fun exploring the Oasis, though. It's just such a cool area. Oasis, desert, south of the Oasis. Yeah. I'm just gonna ward bomb it. Uh, Travelers claim more for a hammer weapon. Maybe a sturdy thick stick has more durability, though. I don't actually know. I don't know the exact durability values of everything by memory. I just know fusing things usually adds 25, so. There we go. There's a dust, oh, dust storm. What you got there? Time bomb. <laughs> Doable. So many of these eyeballs. And again, it's only tracking to a certain point. Drop the bombs. Arbiter's girl. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, it's a whole <laughs> sand pusher now. Oh, my parts. <laughs> Thank you. Very generous. Well, what the <laughs> character's bugging out here? I can't even get close, can I? Oh, I don't want to either. Yeah, so it's hard to take seals through some of this, so that's why I wasn't as keen to bring one right now, at least. Maybe in the beginner desert area. That glides pretty well. 
where the refs are. Uh, <laughs> see, that's cool. It's almost trying to make it across, I see. Did they manage? I don't know. Is that the time bomb that we got earlier? It is. <laughs> it's a long time bomb. You're out of time now. It's Irisak Shrine. <gasps> it's in the depths. Arbiter's ground sunk to the depths. It had to have. Because there's always something, like, interesting where there would be, like, you know, things in the ground. Because, like, in the hot springs in Hebra, uh, like, below it in the depths, there is, like, volcanic activity, actually. Which isn't very common outside of, like, the Death Mountain area. But that's because a hot spring would have volcanic activity down below. So when you go to the depths there, there it is. But in this game, it seems like Arbiter's Grounds is sunk and you just see the top of it, like those columns. So the depths must actually have Arbiter's Grounds in it. Or at least something, because I even read about it from one of the Ega journals down below. Hmm. It's a fair point. <laughs> I have to see what's down there. I, I know there has to be something, because it was mentioned once and then, yeah. It was a whole dungeon in Twilight Princess, and uh, yeah, it seems like it's just like the very top of that now, like the little pillars. So let's assume that it's sunk. Interesting. Also, that's just a blessing. Just <laughs> thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, so we can do the statue quest after this, but first I'm gonna change out that paraglider. That can be done there. And yeah, go back to the town, uh figure out what needs to be done if we need to take a sand seal or one of the new sleds, because those are cool. I like the sleds, personally. They're a huge favorite. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. It's fun to get into more. Post dungeon stuff is cool. I like seeing what all I can do else in the town. We still have to go back to Rito's at some point. I love there pretty fast. But we did like pretty much everything I know about in Goron. All right, guys. Salutation. Saturations. <laughs> How do you do? Rainy days remind you of the most romantic dates you ever went on. Standing in the soaking rain, got down on one knees to propose. Why then? Uh, rework our paraglider. Well, we gotta try it out, so. Where are you? Goran Gerudo. That's fancy. <laughs> Very colorful. Let's do it. <laughs> We'll get more Gerudo armor soon, too. I need money, though. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Nice! <laughs> I dig it! I like the more... You know, pattern, older school kind of Gerudo. Like... I like the vibrancy. <laughs> Like all the darker tones in the Gerudo aesthetic, more so. Yeah, compliments the main outfit then. Yeah, we just need like another... Uh, just a couple hundred more rupees, I believe. So yes. Oh, we got that picture. <laughs> okay, we planted one, got two out of it. Look, planties, rain. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, what can we grow? Here. Plant something else. Yeah, so if you do the hardy stuff, you really won't get a lot of return. Tomatoes, we have a lot of, um, whatever's, like, proportionally the least. Tons of berries. We just started getting those, but already 30, so. So you're pretty good. I think we just need more wheat, honestly. 
Because you get nine per harvest. Ooh. Give up one, so. Yeah. Eight more when we come back. Which is nice, because usually you have to buy that or just tediously cut in the region, which isn't fun. <laughs> Shower time, little ones. I like how they talk to plants. See, they know the secrets to make them grow. Always talk to your plants. I'm pretty sure that is, like, kind of a thing. Not really, though, because, like, how you release, like, carbon dioxide or something, the plants need it. Ultimately, it doesn't do too much, but it has, like, somewhat of an explanation why talking to plants is a thing. So, kind of silly. I wonder what we're missing, compendium-wise. Just a few loose things. We have these pictures. I could turn these two things to Kakariko really quick. So we have more album space. I could do that. Yeah. Then we'll go back and whatever awaits. Money too could be nice, but the last time I talked to the Gerudo who buys the ores in Goron City, they just wanted 10 diamonds, which we don't have yet. When we do, that's going to be an easy, like, 5,500. Slash a tumbleweed rolling around. You might find an item inside. I don't know if we found one yet. Beats me. Okay. What's worth? Hello. Oh. We do have two more tablets. Oh. You have ten more to find? Ah. Here's a picture. We can get these off our plates. Mm. Hmm. See Tulin disappearing in the background. The spark. Oh. Historical accounts. Mm. Um, I'm not never going to try to read this. The king was late come this evening, so he made the queen share tales of her land, of shrines and all the green yellows. And then it gets even more. Something about diverse monsters. Uh, we're going to wait for his recap because I. it gets more and more gibbery. Only the royal couple made these shrines. Shrines of light. Okay, it's something how they made the shrines of light. The key, Pez, took it down. Oh. The subject here is that the actions King Robert and Queen Sonia undertook not long after Hyrule's founding. They made the shrines, right? Hmm. They were worried for their people, so they set out to eradicate the monsters from troubling them. Created structures called Shrines of Light to seal the monsters away. Oh! oh I thought they were like trials for, for the potential hero. Because they didn't know Link back then. I don't know. Okay, so original, the original purpose was to seal monsters away. More about light and time, too. Yep. Raru has light powers. Sonya has time powers. Hmm. Yay! It's one way to get money. Nine more. Here's a picture. Yeah, interesting. Shrines are prisons for enemies. Shrines of light. Keeping away dark monsters. Original text. Of late, have you heard it told a strange something walks around the castle in dark of night? She and Princess Zelda seem... Twins too, but on the light. <laughs> yeah, there we go. When she's asked about this walk, Princess Zelda of that being nothing remembered. Something about the vision of Zelda? I don't know. Oh. Ancient ghost story. I really is perfect, but I know a ghost story when I see one. Uh. First time accounts are ghostly or corpse-like woman who appeared each night. Oh! Okay, the evil Zelda. Evil Zelda appeared at night. Hmm. Oh. Yep. <laughs> what is with this? I have no idea. Oh. Why would there be an evil Zelda? Why is she causing chaos? Hmm. There we go. Oh. Still have eight more to oh. find. Gotcha. <laughs> yep, I'll hang them all up. We found a third of them. Ah. Nice. Mm. Again, I have to kind of skim the Jiroshi segment because of like 
I could kind of half-ass trying to figure out what it is, but it's like Wartsworth is the expert and I am the consumer. We have all these. In case you want to get in different colors, that's why you can keep buying them. Which is a nice consideration. Especially for things like the Hylian pants. Because you can really customize them. Have a base pair, have one that's dyed in a different color. I love scaffolding. It's still gonna be blocked off, I know, right? Mm -hmm. Probably have to do all the regional phenomena. Because we can't even go over there, we get stopped. Because the fake Zelda said we couldn't do it. Oh, yeah, oh, the ring garlands. We do need to transport them, don't we? Before you go and add an extra bit of love to it. Yeah, we need to transport this all the way to Gerudo, don't we? Do we literally have to make a cross-country trip? <gasps> From there to there. Yeah, because the one person... <laughs> we have to cheer him up. I don't think we can stash this in our pockets. Hmm. <laughs> this is an interesting uh, crisis, I guess. We could build like a plane mechanism, but well, obviously not one of those planes. Um, because planes expire. There were things like those hovercrafts, not those, the pre-built ones that I don't have a quick blueprint of. We might hold off on this because this is gonna be fun, but I want to get like a proper plane working. So it's the most efficient vehicle possible. That's gonna be pretty fun now, honestly. Okay. Um, quickly go on city. Let's see what we can sell, what we can do. Because yeah, if we can sell those gems to buy more armor, that'd be nice. For buying and upgrading armor, of course. Because it's like, you know, why wouldn't we? <laughs> hmm. Almost out of water. Oops. Plink. Plink. <laughs> Plink. There you are. One of the first Gerudo we met. So. Uh, or to sell you. Yeah, we don't have 10 diamonds. So it's always gonna be diamonds. That's what I figured. I went back once, but I needed to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Amber's getting easier to come by, so sell seller price is lower than ever. Why do you buy them at a high price? I guess thank you, is what I should be saying. But how many are we off? We need four more diamonds, okay. Put it worth it to something else and we can make a bunch of money. Because if they want any of this besides sapphires, which again, we don't have a lot of sapphires. Which makes me think, yeah, a lot of gems are more region specific, so you just have a higher chance of mining maybe Sapphire and Lanaru. Because I'll check out, um, we're just in the desert for a while, so we got a ton of topaz. So, I don't know. Hmm. I guess we'll just go back and keep it up. So first here, let's move the, uh, the orb from here to Gerudo Town. And there's probably some, I don't know where the rest could be. It seems like they're all like in like the Gerudo town type areas, so. So I think I'm gonna find them either in the bazaar or the town. And I'm not sure if that ring garland one equates to one, so. Huck. 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 
The ball's gone. Oh no, what happened? Zavok. Zavok. Yeah, a lot of courage. Quite unlike those members of the caravan squad. That's who I need to find. Helping us with our guard duties until Captain Rip fired them. Now everything's restored. We don't need to rely on outsiders. So where'd they go? Or rather, where'd the ball go? There it is. <laughs> Uh-oh. It fell with a scruffy beard. <laughs> One of them already got lost. They clearly want good savers. It's our friend Panthos. <laughs> of course he ran away in the face of danger. <laughs> I think they have an ulterior motive to helping the Gerudo. It's not because it's their battle tendency. Panthos disappeared. Aww. Got a blur. I barely see a thing. Panthos running out to the west entrance. Hmm. Hmm. Place that stands out, okay. So I guess we'll have to find this person. That's probably how we get the ball. Yep. He's like, please, <laughs> he's hugging it. Just, I want it to. I'll have to give it to you. Oh, but the owner is currently missing. Seems like there's a few situations like that. Okay, well, let's see. Treasure of the Gruto Desert, Mysterious Eighth, Missing Owner. Oh yeah, this one I can do. I'm just helping anyone because it may lead to getting those, those balls, which we only have a couple left. Hey. That's something I can buy. Okay, I'm supposed to decorate a weapon. So I think I can do that now. If I do that and... Oh, give doing. That was close. <laughs> um, get a regular supplies from town again. Stylishly decorate a weapon. Make it sparkle and radiate with the burning passion. Does this count now? Oh, wait, this is a monster part, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it's a monster part. What am I supposed to put on it so it sparkles with the burning passion? It must be a star. Because I don't have anything else like that. I don't even have a star, so it's like... <laughs> It's not a zone I charge. Stars sparkle, you know? Burning passion, I... It could just be a ruby. <gasps> Torch ruby, I, I don't know, I'm just... Hopefully I don't waste a ruby on this, but... Yeah, that could be it. I forgot rubies do that now. Yeah. Give me a moment to study this weapon. Okay, I didn't I didn't actually think of that, so. <laughs> Just for an electric key swing. Oh. Material I would recommend for decorating weapons. So long throw on it and shock. I'm gonna waste the ruby just for a. Well, that was an odd quest. <laughs> I was really stumped earlier on that too. I thought I needed a star, but I just didn't think of that. I'm sure it's another weapon I don't need. Oh, well, thank you. Something I could actually use. Geoglyph. Clear view of the whole thing. A 
Okay, that's one Ganon kneeling. Mm. It's okay. We're well prepared. We got cold resistant pants and the top, which looks nice with us. It fits well enough, I would say. But now we gotta look through someone through the desert. And I believe. That's not that one. Okay. So we're looking for a K-around person. Uh, wait in a conspicuous location near a tall structure when lost in the desert. Since the sinkhole is also in the area. Um, hmm. So more than likely within this structure of the desert. Where we should be looking. Maybe a campfire. What if you're just down the well? We. You gotta be in here, don't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that wasn't that hard. You kind of gave it away earlier. All the weapons around. He didn't mess up. A person. <gasps> a lizard. <laughs> Name's Panthos, member of Caravan Squad. Still can't find an exit. Thank you. Um, I mean, what about the exit? <laughs> I'm sure most people found this before and oh wait the rocks are back no hey the rocks back usually they don't respawn maybe just for the quest oh sorry to whoever that was <laughs> it's now destroyed looks like they just stand next to each other just B Baby Taba and Rijo. Tipo. Tulin. <laughs> I have a lot of names to remember. I think just those rocks came back for the quest. No way. Yes way. And just crabs. I did all this. Huh? We can climb the ladder. Ooh. Okay. And a reward. We'll get that orb. So there's one there, one in Grudo Town, and one somewhere else. I just don't know yet. I want to see what the reward is for doing all the heroin stuff. Yeah, I own that. I <laughs> can't believe anyone survived falling into a sinkhole. Maybe the other ones are more fatal. Oh. As a reward. <gasps> da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> it has a weird pattern in it. It's probably rare. I'm a merchant. I got an eye out for things like this. <laughs> oh. Okay. My guy. Hopefully they stop acting weird to the Gerudo. <laughs> we'd be hanging around laughing like this if you haven't come to save. Sit on it, roll around, jump around, exercise ball, you know. <laughs> so I joined the caravan squad just to get something out of it. Get into the town. Goodbye caravan squad. Oh well. He ran away. Still want to find a hole to hide in. Aww. Jump into a sinkhole too. I I will do that more. 
Yes. <sighs> you know, on the good side, we messed up our one job. Yeah, they really tried to get close to the Gerudo just by helping them. <laughs> and of course, cowering at the oh. first sign of danger. Travelers thought we were a band of criminals. <laughs> Captured nearly skewered by the guards. <laughs> they got thrown in jail. <laughs> Our spirit is truly indomitable. <laughs> Brought up all those traumatic memories. I'm feeling a bit more dominable than it was earlier. <laughs> the whole thing was like trying to help and it did not work. But at least they have each other now, so. Something did come out of it. So I really want one of those sand sleds, but there is an easy way to get sand seals now. He's staring into the pond because he missed the sea. Aww. Uh, uh. It's okay, we talked to him before. It's just cool seeing him stare like that. It's the baby ocean. It's okay, I want one of those sand seal carts. That is a priority. Because the ball should be there now, just in general. We could try going to the heroine statues, because there could be one there. You know, I just don't know exactly. A beam emitter. They're worshiping it. This is not gonna work. At least I called it. Oh, I thought he hit him. I was like, what are you doing? Soaring spear. No damage spear. Take that. Oh, not you. Sorry, soaring spear. It was the only fate acceptable. Armor shark shield. Oh no. What if I use that spiky one? I didn't use it yet. Does it do more damage because it's high carry power? Maybe a bad enemy to test it on. Okay. Someone beat down. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Use that as a dodge to get away from the tongue. Cracking. <laughs> Love the crack kills. I still want more tails. They're not very common, sadly. I mean, I get why, but... How'd that not even work? <laughs> I mean, it needs to be further a bit, but still. We have a bunch of dumb weapons now. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does my inventory become? I guess we gotta start using one up. Um, getting that talus hammer was a mistake. I'm just like, uh, you know, I never want to use it because it's so cool now, you know? I guess we'll just use this. Or wait, should we use a. Yeah. Really milk out. <laughs> one hit! <laughs> Did at least most of his health. <laughs> Might make some more desperate strength stuff. I think that's the goal. Yeah, let's try to repair this inventory, but it is being in the desert, we got a bunch of stuff that was like not so good. No way, this useless ruby torch. <laughs> Wait, I like this thing. Shocky. Single. Oh, what? No, that was my one opportunity. Before they all just do that crap. Yep. A lot of bullying. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, what? <laughs> that much damage, too, is kind of insane. <laughs> you made me desperate for some strength. <laughs> Fine, it's one way or the other. You can't escape the loop, though. Uh-oh. I'm glad that just missed in general. That's for strength. See, maybe it was meant to be that way. Hello. And that works too. No flurry needed, just brute force. Because I'm trying to flurry, I need to turn off some of these champ uh, sages. Oh yeah, that's not a very good shield. I've been noticing. And Gruden weapons are kind of decent if you don't know how to flurry, but if you can flurry well, then royal stuff just always takes the cake. So, yeah. Swimming. And now I say we cook up off the me. Just a basic trouble, you know. The goal is to not get hit. <laughs> I am interested. Chilly nights are really something. Yes, I'll rent one. We'll go with the sleigh. These are so cool. Dashing through the sand. So yeah, we'll use this for the ball. But first I really want to check out the, uh, um, you know, the heroines himself. I assume there would be one there, maybe. Because you know about two, we need to know about three, though. Oh. Yep, this got fully overtaken. East Gerudo Ruins with a sinkhole. Oh, the music, too. Ah. This is really awesome. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of opportunities there. Oh. Sorry, seal. You have to charge me. No, not like that. I'll just bite my heart soon. <laughs> He's gonna get sinkhole. What? He juked me out! <laughs> Sorry, playing with all these guys is not helpful at all, sometimes. At least that reach is crazy. Oh! Ow! He just whapped it at me! This was intense! There goes a fairy and everything. Just really showing me out here. Um, we'll eat our egg pudding. <laughs> Goodbye, it. Pudding. Turn off these guys. Because I was interrupt something, and then Tulin's about to shoot him in the head and shock all of us again. Oops. 
please make this work. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. They're not rock seals. I get it, trust me. Oh, come on. <laughs> to get mighty close half the time. Far too close. I like the music here too. We don't have time. <laughs> uh, can we do a ascend? I'm hoping so. Yeah, <laughs> they always give us plenty of time. Just has a couple select few that are just <laughs> hell mode. Yeah. And now we get tooling back. This tooling helps out outside combat. Reduce with just whatever we need lightning. You know, both good for mining. We just go in, don't we? There'll be something in here. It all leads to this. <laughs> okay, what is this gonna be? Ha. The Harrowing Cave? East Garuda Ruins Cave. I love sand stuff a lot. It's another fan weapon. Again, I don't have easy boards or anything, so sorry, Quark friends. You will do the job. Mm. Yeah, I know we just <laughs> I literally have no use for a fire rod, I'm sorry. For when we do need it. Shock rats everywhere. Any spear is okay, even that. It just gets the job done. Does that circulate around? I had a long throw hammer though. 
We're just having to adapt with what we got. Oh, another statue had sunk. Oh. Okay, so everything was sinking. Gradually. Before. I guess anything will do the trick, but that just makes it a little easier. Maybe build our own little sand machine. To get around. Yeah, everything literally sunk. So, there's probably something under Arbiter's Grounds, too. But would that be in the depths, or just like, was it supposed to go in the quicksand? That, I don't know. Go. Uh, just something. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Still strong. <gasps> Diamond. Yes. <laughs> Need like two more then. Nice, but also. Yeah, that that shield wasn't <laughs> too good. He's doing like no visible damage, so I think the spikes are just like a fixed value, like like ten or twenty per hit. Never mind. Just whatever. I'm just gonna keep using the bogo things because they're just so expendable. I find them all the time, especially in the depths. Do what you can. You go over there, bomb. Thank you. Hello. Very happy. <laughs> no bubbles, please. I wonder what could be here, though. The statue pointing to loot. Oh, wait, it's pointing to something, isn't it? Banana gem. It's pointing right there. Huh. Yeah, we just did a full 360 around. So it's like the underside sewer of these ruins, kind of. So did this fall for a reason, or...? I would assume so. Actually, we got the bubble frog. Yeah, do these lead to somewhere special if I... I want to say no, but it feels like yes. If you're abominant and it was a no, you would just ascend into it? I think it's just there because it fell, but usually they always point to something. But that one didn't have a sword in its hand. That could just be it. Maybe I'm um, missing something, though. I don't know. Let's do a chest sensor, maybe.
because that could be a decent way of finding out. It's the best lead we got. No. Okay, I think it was just for that. Just wraps around. That was just showing its final location. Oh, well, the key stuff made it here. Okay. Still interesting what happened to it. <laughs> I guess we leave it here. Reverse to the sand. And just hope our seal is still here. Because it might be. I don't know. It's just so cool checking these out. The ruins are sinking. It's being repopulated. Uh, Sand Seal game stepped up, but I don't... I don't think their comeback service is very good. Is I think it just fled. Unless it was like behind there, I don't remember. No, thank you. Do we have to get another seal? I don't know. Ooh, that counted. Nice. <laughs> I try in the in the faint chance that it does work. Two shots. <laughs> this thing's too good. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think the seal did come back, so... I think we have to find another ride. <laughs> okay, so most most of the orbs must be in all the little esque structures. So, the bazaar or the town itself, and likely the town. Yeah, I'll say more than likely it's got to be the town. But let's do the ones that we know about at least. That's not a watermelon. Hello. You get the cat. Oh. Keep running, throw a tantrum. <laughs> tantrum done? Yes. It is. I know exactly what you are. I've been fooled enough. Oh! <laughs> he almost fooled me. It's okay. Well, we gotta do this again. I'll rent one. A sand, a sleigh seal, yes. It's just fun and fitting, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> so speedy. They dash for a long time, too. Hi. Oh, that was the Korok tent we did. Hey. It's like the first thing you do when going to the desert. Just like, help the Korok, go to the bazaar. Takes you right in. <laughs> what? That was rock? <laughs> I guess so. It's sandstone. Hi. My seals. Whoa. Turn, please. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Again, so we do have to go that way. I was right. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I love sand seals. Sealing around. Hi. I just love how there's a really unique mount type in this game like this. Horses are awesome, no vehicles, but... It's always the seals for the desert. And they do the job quite well. Yeah. Here, you, you Thanks. 
Okay, I just need the orb. Thank you. Thank you. It's awkward any direction we go. It's we make it work. Oh, someone else picking it up. Good. Right on the seal. Yep, you can throw anything to it. So awesome. We do have to get it across the rift. <laughs> there was some loot in there, which is cool to check out. I wonder if you can still find like Gibdos in like dark places like that. I would assume so. They're not just gonna go extinct. Okay. Pull up right to the front gates. <laughs> Limo of seal is here. Can move it in. <laughs> Come on through, thank you. Okay. That orb is our next target. I assume it's just somewhere in the town. There's a cooking recipe on the wall. Interesting. Also, maybe it's faster if we just. Where's the chest? There we go. Give me my watermelon. Brought you another. Yep. Vo do other uses. No problem. And you are the pointy one. Okay, so we're missing paw symbol and ring. And we know where one of those are. Ah. Good sign. What did they say? Mm. Seven heroines protect the Gerudo. Secrets will be expressed on six monuments. Eighth channels and guides power of the seven. Yes. House within the spirits. Powers return to them. The shrouded eighth will be known. Mm. The eighth directs the powers of the seven: heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flights, mobility, and compassion. So it's really a culmination of, you know, other seven spirits. The king god. Ah. Okay. Mm. Might be nothing for it to meet with Patricia. Patricia, not Riju. Maybe Patricia will help with locations. I wonder where this is leading. Chest sensor? Is it down here or? I don't know. Up above. At least it tells you that now. <laughs> Convenience. Nearby up above? What? It's on the wall. I didn't check all the walls yet. Well, since we left it on, it's like... Thank you. Yeah, I didn't check these two things yet. So it's gotta be. One on each side. And a, aha, knight's bow. I don't think I got you, did I? I didn't. <laughs> okay. I, I definitely seen one somewhere, but I don't remember snapping it. That's a good one for the collection. That's a little more centered. I'll take that. Mm. 26. <laughs> Another one of the same. 
We know where it is. <laughs> yeah, we're always getting plus 10s now because the scaling just works differently. So the modifiers just gradually rank up. It's not just like random anymore. Which I kind of like how it's random because you can get some extremely good stuff. on the other side. <laughs> Should have known. It gives you a few years for it, so. In case your ascends being dummy. Sometimes it does that. What? Nice. Second one in the town. <laughs> Used to be one hiding right where the shrine was, right at the top. Hmm. Yes, the sun silhouettes. It's so cool. I just love how it's directly behind the throne room now. All right, we got two more orbs. So the assumption is that they're all here now, besides the one we got in the bazaar. Oh, this person guards that. Sparkly. Saba. Saba. Look at this. Hi. It is a great orb. <laughs> it's the O orb. It is cute. I want this orb. <laughs> Gotta fight for it. It takes a special bow to see what a special oh, special orb this is. Aww. can lend it to you. You gotta play with it. Challenge me for it. What sort of game? <laughs> Dala's game. No context. Uh-oh. What sort of... <gasps> Sand seal. Plushy. I mean, shelter as your plate. Is it hide and seek? Oh! <gasps> yeah! More plushy games! We did the one, like, pick up plushy game on the water. Yeah! Yeah! Hide the plushy! <laughs> I love the plushy games. Oh, there's water. Let's start. Uh, where would there be water? Is it down? Sorry, I instantly thought that. Okay, where is there water down here? There's water around here, so... No, okay. <laughs> At least we know it's... Yeah, it's obviously wouldn't be out. There's a freak out what? There's gotta be water. <laughs> that doesn't tell me too much. Not in the jail, I don't think he went there. Um, is there water in here? There wasn't, okay, crap. <laughs> That could be a spot, though. It's gotta be hi those hiding spots for a reason. Maybe it's the one I didn't find out about. Um, that's, that's bad. I'm good at finding the plushie. I can't lose. That is salt. No. It's exciting. Let's pick a good hiding spot. I'll play some more. Ah! Okay, can't be in that area. Um, where was the water? <laughs> Technically here? I don't know. Ah, I can't pick up the rock. <laughs> here. <gasps> ah, there was water here. Okay. <gasps> Hiding spot one. I, I assume they're gonna keep putting it other places. <laughs> I didn't remember that was a fountain. <laughs> They're going to put another one in that kitchen pantry. Oh. Unless you do it again. 
So it's Voya fun hanging out with, and he's a very special Vo indeed. Yay. Huh? Special and cool. <laughs> okay. I bet they're gonna have more hiding spots next time. Hi. I'm challenging you now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're winning hide and seek again. Yes. Hide and find the plushie. Aww. Over here. You'll never think to look by the bed. <laughs> Not very good at this. I'm focused. I know exactly what I want. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What if we do all our hiding spots? Uh, a roar picked out for you. I skimmed that. Um, what could it be? Ooh. Gold fruit. <laughs> Yay. Ah. Again. <laughs> Hi. Play with? I mean, challenge? <laughs> this is a great challenge. Yeah, maybe it is different every time, so we just got that one. Aww. Okay. We're trying to hide it here. <laughs> Don't even tell me they're just going to alternate between a few set ones. <laughs> There's got to be one in that, like, little pantry. Speed run percent. Okay, so just... <laughs> There's a few set hiding locations. Is it always a full fruit? <laughs> this is how we max out. Okay, it is. Okay, well. Silly. I assume one will be in that little pantry thing. It's different every time. Well, m maybe. Also, I think it's funny that uh, these are the three ingredients to make a uh, noble pursuit. Volt fruit, hydromelon, palm fruit. And salt, of course. I'm just trying to... I pressed R to throw and then it just popped up my weapon. I was like, okay. Throw. Maybe it was because I was jumping? I don't know. Yeah, but if you jump while throw, you just pull out the weapon. Ooh, sorry. What a mission to get all the balls. Wow. Is there a second to last one? <laughs> I gotta see what happens when we get them all. Mm -hmm. I hope it's not tied to the... the whole dating thing. Because that'll be hard to do. <laughs> Bows do have their uses. Okay. Almost all perfect. Were they all in the directions of... No, they weren't. Um, we can talk to the seal, which should be above. Let's just get a perspective on this. There. Oh! Gipto parts. And guts. Guts and all. Interesting. I guess leftovers. Gotcha. Sava Sava. Sava Sava. Patricia is something of an oracle. Please offer her some fruit. In exchange, she'll share a reading with you. Oh. For splash fruit, you'll almost certainly get a strange number filled reading. Oh. Well, how does this work? <laughs> okay, apple first. Do you like apple? Maybe. <laughs> the talking seal. Oh. Splash through prophecy seal shall guide you to places worthy of your time. No. Uh, guess you really want that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy rolls. I would assume so. 
Hmm. Uh -oh. Ooh. Coordinates. <laughs> Seal current numbers. Negative 3,800. Negative 2,969. Oh, you can actually use the coordinates. That's where the ball is, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Was that max videos? Ready? Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> See, like, number is 3,800. Uh, 29. Okay. 38, negative 20. Oops. Not Breath of the Wild. I'm sorry. Basically 3,800, and then I have an SD card to fix this problem, but still. Um, 2,969. Oh, so it wasn't a town. Twenty nine sixty nine. Let's see how well this lines up. Fifty eight. Okay. Thirty eight. Twenty nine sixty nine. Too many numbers. <laughs> Humans can only reasonably remember seven numbers at a time. Uh, I get why it's so hard because the town is not centered to the coordinates. I keep going in the directions of the town. I'm like, why is it like not 2969? No. We have to go true north. There we go. Oh, it's not this ball. Thirty eight, twenty nine, sixty nine, fifty nine, fifty eight. You know, uh, yeah, I know what I'm doing. It's sand, isn't it? <laughs> it is sand. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> that makes a bit more sense now. <laughs> I didn't really pick up on that. Because it just blended in well, you know? I didn't expect the sand there. Okay, with that. Not well. Tic tac toe. And jumpy games. Oh. Oh. Wow. X lost. What is that? That's type of soup. Tomato soup? Mm -hmm. Oops. Yep, you go like that. And then we'll let you roll right in place. Or this is the last one. Before I put it, I'm going to use the restroom. Sorry. 
I don't want to hold back from that again because I need to ref refill my water and use the restroom. So we'll be back in just a moment. We have, yep, last one. Because <sighs> I drank like the entire thing last stream. Uh, <laughs> now an entire one again now. So yeah, we'll be back. Welcome to everyone tuning in. Um, just give us a moment. That works awesome. And then uh, you know, we will have Zoid once again watch the stream. So it does it well. And we'll put Peppy on him too. Can't quite see him though. Peppy's here in spirit. There we go. So be right back. Uh, give me like three minutes. Gotta refill my water, restroom. And then we'll do that. Back. Hello. Thank you. Oh, hi. Whoop. All good. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see what this does. I'm just uh 
interested how this is gonna relate because now half the real heroines are sunken and it doesn't seem to be anything big there all these things were just around the town itself so how it plays in we shall see yeah i really like this area just still like all these types of sand travel but you know still a lot of open things where seal or you know hovercraft travel is fun but a lot of very close camps and whatnot too Muldugas and everything. So yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, <laughs> let us continue with this. The last ball. Yeah, it's no watermelon. So, <laughs> but we get them anyways. Every single one we got a watermelon. Return the orbs to the statues. Certainly. Well. All the correct ones. Flash it. I'm not messing around. I'm doing what you need. Hang on a minute. Are we good? That was the last orb. Yay. Oh. <laughs> There's the something. <laughs> Floor's moving. <gasps> yep. <laughs> the below secret. I was hoping it would be that. Hmm. If only you didn't have a shovel and could have ah. dug this up earlier. I almost forgot my manners. Let's go inside. It's fine, it's exciting. I'll go in first. Mysterious eight. Oh. Whoa. Our hearts are full of gratitude and praise for the one who saw us in all that we could be. We've enshrined an appropriate gift in the sanctuary at North Gruda Ruins. The outsized orb near the eighth statue shall be the key that opens the way. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So is there another statue there then? I didn't check out the North Ruins fully. Yeah, the giant orb is the key. Mm -hmm. Some large ruins located north of Grudel Town. What do you think this place? <gasps> oh! Oh wait, was that the area we were in? We were first going to Riju? Oh, we did see that, didn't we? Eh? It opens the way beneath. There is more to that? Mysterious Eighth, with no one has learned before, will finally come to the light. Yeah, because the 8th was in, like, the Highlands area. So, I, I don't know what's of, like, the giant statues now. Because it seems to be about these smaller ones. There's actually more connected lore. Ah. We can carry it. <laughs> Got into archaeology to look at things, not carry them. Ah. We are the muscle. Yeah. We can do that. Okay. This is exciting. Um... Oh, wait. Is this the Valley of Silence statues, or...? I think it might be referring to that, too. Oh. Un underground Sanctuary beneath... No, but that is a route we can take to get there. I'm not messing around, I promise. So never mind, I thought that was the place we were in. Because I thought there was a statue there, but maybe not. I just remember that giant light mirror thingy. Hmm. Back to square one. Ah. Yeah. Seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. Secret express on the monuments. An eighth channels and guides the power of these seven. Yes. Those four. So it's all like the culminating god for this. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. And the orbs are kind of like their power. It's returned. Okay. Mm. Eh? Hmm. 
Our hearts are full of gratitude and praise for the one who saw in us all that we could be. Yeah, so it's, it's the seven heroines talking to the one, it seems. Enshrine an appropriate gift in the sanctuary. Or rather, maybe it's talking to the person who united all the orbs, like us. Yeah, I think that's more likely. Hmm. So, like, they wanted some secret to be found. That's just what they left behind. For hopefully someone worthy to reunite it, I guess. Just kind of looking at, you know, the lore and reason behind things like this. Oh. So we cannot take it through that. <laughs> Oh, that would have been such a good plan. Oh well, we just run to seal, I guess. Which, no, 50 rupees is kind of steep, so I'm like, uh... I guess so. It's fine. Okay, we make it work. My seal's gonna be gone. Sadly, it always is. Or we can just roll it. Screw it. It's not that far. Let's play a little bowling with this guy. What if we fuse it? I don't think that'll be allowed. That would suck. Look at all these Gerudo mysteries. It's so cool. Loopy. Okay. I guess, yeah, the cave is nearby, so... Oh. <laughs> it's a hole. Oh, that's a... That's a hole. Maybe we should stay on track, though. That is a hole. <laughs> that? Gerudo Sanctuary. It's an alternate entrance exit. Hmm. I'm trying to think what's the best plan of action. Maybe just see where it leads? Far. <laughs> I like we can fit the ball down there, though. At least not very easily. Give those. Nice. Okay. Have at it. Yep, they're still gonna be in the caves and whatnot. So just a whole side area that could have been skipped. Okay, nice. I see. I don't see. Okay, so it's the same cave system, but you can only get through there or through here. So it has an in, like alternate entrance. Okay. This is so cool. It's like, yeah, the lock apart portion of the tomb. Mm. 
Is that going on too? I don't know. Yeah, well, let's get the ball back. Yeah, I really like that they expanded on this area. And it's still all the lightning strikes from Rijo. <laughs> the stains of the. Oh yeah, you can't do that anymore. You can drop it if you can't. Holy crap, I forgot about their enhanced as hell. Yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> Just straight up that. Meat, please. Thank you. I thought that was a chest in the ground. But yeah, Chuju's definitely got a lot more explosive. And they're jellies too, which we can harness that. I like their horns. I haven't seen a black one in a while. What the? It didn't let me pop my paraglider. <laughs> what? Uh, excuse you, that just ruined everything. Like, no joke, I could not pop my fairy letter. So odd. That's okay. You're a quick finish. Mildly. I think you messed up. It's a lot slower without the flurry. But two for you. The damage difference is insane. Tulin. <laughs> Please, Tulin. <laughs> you got this, bud. <laughs> what? You missed. You get splashed. Still splashing. <laughs> I guess we can go with more of those. I'm not opposed. They're still kind of fun to use, you know? Could do more damaging stuff on it. These, because they're everywhere, literally. Or we could make a rock one. Maybe with horrible in parts. Yeah, we have, we have a few. Hammer boomerang. You never know. Maybe finding a talus could be good. Or something. I love the new desert music too. Whether this world's in either some Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild, I just love this version of Hyrule so much. I can never get sick of it just exploring around it. No, definitely not, because there's just like all new too. But your nostalgia's play with a lot too. Both in like seeing a lot of familiar things, just slightly different, or even just totally change sometimes, like when you go to the towns again. It's cool. Yeah, I... Please attack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My pride is ruined. <laughs> oh, it's the boomerang. I forgot. Why did I play another bowl time noise? <laughs> Interesting. Boomerang? Is on you. <laughs> Thank you, Tulin, actually. I prefer that outcome much better.
Okay, here we are. Ball. Where'd I leave you? There you are. In you go. Oh, it's... Oh. So it leads to the rest of it from here. <laughs> mystery will no longer be a mystery. In a couple years when this finishes. Uh, please. <laughs> That's the record holder of the most painful <laughs> ball key. <laughs> oh god. What have we got? Oh, tablet. different from what we saw earlier from the other end. We saw the end of this. Nothing we can... Spoonberry. Yeah, there's a lot of build up for this. We gotta get all the orbs. This is where the eighth is? Really kept that head in. That's where we need to go. Okay, so we saw from the other side. It was teasing it. These are so cool, though. What was that? Oh, Dazzle Fruit works too. Interesting. A lot of things break them open. Sorry, Lizzie. Oh. This one's safe. Oh, it is not safe. <laughs> I really thought that was going to be safe. I was like, we made it out. Not really. It is sand ruins. Of course, it's going to be falling platforms. I'm just having such a blast in the desert between these last two streams. Like... I just love the whole underground, you know, sandstone Egyptian stuff, Gerudo. Crypt yeah. rating. Hmm. Oh, pick a path. That path seems okay. This one does not. Ha! <laughs> Thought you could fool, huh? Oh. <laughs> Peeks his head. What was that for? Splashy. Yep. Anything does it. Go! <laughs> Satisfying. In we go. Close it off behind. Kind of. I have no idea what that sequence of events was. <laughs> it was something though. I'm just getting happy around the gems. Whoa! Thank you. <laughs> Almost got shocked yourself. <laughs> what else can we use on these guys? Not Bright Bloom. If we just muddle butt them. Balloon him, I don't know. Does that count as elemental? Does not. Oh yeah, he's still gonna go after us and there's no one else. Oh wait. Roll away! Get him! <laughs> Eventually. Okay, I doubt any of that's actually going to be special. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> He's confused and re-dead. I believe a 
A reded just to give to without like the bandages, but in this case, yeah, it's like their skin and then their skeleton. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Killed the fish. <laughs> Died to the age. I wonder what these guys eat. We're ruining the nature down here. By stepping on the rocks. Hardy, I missed that. Too. It's okay. We're getting some. We're trying to be careful of all the Hardys in here. These structures are so cool, though. These deserty ruins. <gasps> That's it, isn't it? Maybe. <gasps> Statue of the Eighth Arrowhead Room. Oh, and they all represent. Oh, they all represent the different elements, like wisdom and whatnot. I, what were they? Flight, mobility. Long ago, a monstrosity of the sands attacked Grudo Town. Its war cry rang out over the dunes like a raging demon. Maybe a Walduga. We seven heroines of the Grudo. The most stalwart chosen by surged forth to engage us. Yet this monstrosity tossed us about like the tumbling weeds. We feared that the proud Gruta would be extinguished. And then a hero appeared from the far. Oh, the eighth, who had traits of all of them. Marshaled the seven heroines, consulting us to combine our strengths. Strength upon... S strength of we seven routed the monstrosity. We named our benefactor the Guiding Light of the Gerudo. Oh. And then we had not but the highest praise for him. He was refused entry into Gerudo's. So the eighth heroine's a guy. It was Gerudo law that, o that all those like him were barred. How hollow our gratitude and praise must have rung in the hero's ears. Monstrosity attack Grudel Town. Okay. Thus was the link between his people and the Grudel served. Though we never bequeathed it to him, the gift into which our feelings are bound is enshrined at the sanctuary. So he couldn't properly you know, give him the respect they deserve because he wasn't accepted, obviously. But he is important, which is why the eighth is always somewhere else. It's a seven somewhere, and then the eighth always hidden away. Because it's just something that the heroines wanted to keep separate from everyone else. Well, everyone looked up to the heroines, the heroines looked up to the eighth. Oh, that's cool. I, I like that. Sword and shield. The claymore. Ruby. Five, six, seven. Yeah. And what could this be? The armor of them? Gold rupee. <laughs> that's really interesting. You can get all the stuff here. Because that's where they kind of retired, I guess. Not that I need it all, but it's cool that it's here. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I couldn't even see that from afar. Let's Rotana know about your findings. I really like that. And so it has to do with the whole Gerudo outsider thing. And the one man who helped. So it really wouldn't be a heroine. It just depicted as just, you know, a stoic statue. Because that's, that's all it matters. There's just seven figures, seven different energies, I guess. 
but it's always depicted the same. So I wonder where, where that fits into the lore of like the sage and everything. Obviously the sage was a single thing. The sage must not have been one of those. Hmm, that's really cool. So it's an outsider. I assume because if it was a man, it, I mean, because if you're the Grudo man, you're still allowed inside the town, I assume. The thing is, there wasn't any Grudo men since Ganondorf because he kind of broke the cycle since he never truly died. He just keeps coming back. So that's where there can't be another Grudo man. Interesting. Certainly something. Let's... Oh, yeah. Over here. Sanctuary. What happened to the big orb? Eh? Unlocked. <laughs> Learn anything about the mis mysterious eighth? Eh? Eighth was a foe. That's so cool. Was it a version of Link? It could have been. Because Zelda extends far into the legends, you know, of well, the past adventures, too. Never have guessed this. To say that what we learned here will append what we know of Gruta history is an understatement. Ah. Gotta write these fannings as soon as I can. Hang on. Mm? What name should I credit? Just me. Eh? Link. Must have been nice having the same name as Zelda's favorite song. They still don't know. They're still caught up in their own branch of research. The reward. Yay, diamond! <laughs> Star of the Archaeological Society. Well, the real reward was the knowledge here. And that was cool. <laughs> Interesting. So now we know it was a guy. So I kind of, you know. Again, there's a whole, like, um, just filtered barrier. So everyone... Looks up to the heroines, but the heroines always have the eighth in mind. But that's why the eighth is separate. That explains a lot now. Because yeah, even in Breath of the Wild, the seven heroine statues were separate. And then the eighth was very far. Yeah, they each had a different element. I forgot what they were again. Hmm. When that comes up again, we'll think back to it. That was very cool. Okay, but next thing's next. Uh, we could check out the clothing shop. Uh, tomato soup, tomato, salt, and milk. Yeah. Let's try that. <laughs> tomato, salt, and milk. Okay, some good ingredients. 200 salt now. Fruity tomato stew. <laughs> Fruity. That's funny. Well, there we go. Tomato stew. That's cool. And more and more recipes. Oh, gotcha. So tomato mushroom stew. So maybe there's a tomato meat stew. But that stew didn't even require the milk, did it? Because usually like soups and... Yeah, the soups have salt and milk usually as a base. What if you did salt? Or just tomato and meat? Meat stew? Worth a shot. Something basic, of course, but... It's a meat score. What if I put it with... Uh, salt and whatnot? Salt and milk? Can't be just a meat score. No, I'm still fruity. Oh. Find more recipes. It's all the flat crates everywhere. Oh, hi. I cannot be red. Oh. Well, we kind of ruined that, didn't we? Oh, chef books! Cooking for success. Witness incredible success in your cooking adventures. Strength and duration of her cooked food's effects will increase. 
Okay, you can use more than one. The light of the red moon can have positive effect on your cooking. Yep. Blood moon cooking. A little too sleepy for that. Monster extract boost stuff. Raise power of duration. But sometimes it goes negative, won't it? <laughs> Ari Tamu is not a man who relies solely on luck. <laughs> Many in the world who gladly pay for the dishes the chef creates. It would definitely sell more because the labor cost. And food. I learned it from a dear friend who's a great chef. But he was a friend, to be sure. <laughs> Just not one I can remember the name of. Hmm. Oh. Cooking class? Ah. Asked how I was teaching a cooking class here. Get really far in life and love. You have a solid grap. She has so many students now that take her other class. Vo and you. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Unless we solve all the... The problems in the Voyu class and help them all out. Maybe she'll be back. Which we still got the one, but we got to deliver a ring garland very far. Which we could do. Nothing stopping us, really. But I did break the crate, which is not helpful. <laughs> Stand in the pot. Kind of. Oh no. <laughs> Can't break it now. Okay, there we go. Perfect. No, I know we can get it if we just... I'll just put it next to... There we go. I got this. Yes! <laughs> that worked! It is number one. Yeah, unique effects. Greenies have cold properties. I'm sure it's not anything that special. Uh, the experiment. Yeah. You can cancel all their effects if you do two of different ones. Extraordinary elixirs. Critter and monster part. Okay. It's very basic ones. Uh, acorns are nuts. <laughs> or anything with food. For hearts. Aritamu. I'm afraid of quit critters. <laughs> yeah. They're a cooker, not a potion brewer. Only appear for an individual with a pure soul. What kind of cooking might be possible if you use the power of a fairy? I think it's critical if you add a fairy to something. By itself, it's a tonic. Not too sure, though. They didn't get to see the fairy, though. How sad. Okay. You served your purpose. Thank you. Now can ascend. Yeah, I feel like one of the things we gotta do is move the ring garland all the way across the world. It's not even for like a main quest thing, but I know it leads to something. It's like a hidden quest. Hmm. And this one was... We did so many side quests. But they're all so much fun here. Like all the reasons to just zoom around. Poor Madunes. Maybe here. Ah, over there. And the other one is... Seek out the swordsman upon the sand and look where she points. So who am I looking for? There's usually a lot of those like... On this northern... Northwest side of the desert. Horseman of the Sands. There you are. Gotcha. It was a Moldugo. <laughs> We're going zooming with this. Old relics of brutal warriors. Oh, they unstopping. Ah. Huh. 
That's enough ball time. <laughs> no. I need to uh, activate you, don't I? Take the rock. I think it was just the last spot where we were loudest. Or whatever was the loudest. No. I think if we're just running fast enough. Yep, they just really don't catch you anymore. Go for it. We have nothing fused to it. I forgot to. It just restored. Um, 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 um. Decisions. There we go. It's like machine gun fire. Okay, you do that. We're ready to bomb you. Come on, charge me. <laughs> Some sort of silly shots we can get on this guy. Ooh. There we go. Come on. Yes. Machine gun again. All right. I don't think that's gonna work again. Okay. These are awesome beasts, though. Woo! This keeps facing his belly right to me. Make it too easy. <laughs> bye bye. Our spinny spear. Hold a constant chain. Well, not really a chain, more so a uh, revolver. Oh, two chests this time. Yeah, I love this weapon. Not bad. Um, okay, we need a duster for the desert. If only they didn't last like two seconds. Let's see what the other one is first. At least it is one of those. This I just barely use, but I feel like we'll make another power weapon soon. We have our boomerangs, uh, we have a hammer type. I'm not even sure anymore. Uh, yeah. I guess since that's damaged, technically rural stuff's almost always better. Cause like desperate strength is good, or you could just get a flurry. I know it's long throw, but it's literally still good. So it's like. <laughs> uh, there you are. But we're gonna use up our this first thing. Again, we have the options, so we use the options. Elemental boomerangs. I like what we got. So who's the next? Next shower. There you are. <laughs> well, the Tulin runs with the wings out. I think I'm more of the stages will so they can all get upgraded too. Thank you, Tulin. Okay, I might reactivate the other avatars. It just at first I'm like, mm, you know. The islands look so cool from here. Cool. Back up quickly. <laughs> If one of your headshots something, it makes a cymbal noise. Like, Ch okay. 
Again, more amazing scenery. Birds. <laughs> I like the little sand sparrows. They get sunk easily. But they're just chirping along. <laughs> I definitely lost where the statue was, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, here's the tougher guys. Uh, boomerang? No problem. Oh, yep, if you're a bow guy, you're definitely getting the boomerang. Go! Let's get a smack out, and there you go. Keep going. Woo, bow guy away. Get him. Throw. That's fine. He's hitting it closer. Wait, that's not it. There it is. Whoa. Both. Or just one. Ah, thank you. We're doing good. And always oh, gotta go for the both. Oh. Ah. Bye. Oh, buy the loot too. my cover here. Bye. <laughs> so he drops his weapon too. Uh, I need to drop this. He's going for it. We know exactly where he's going to be. <laughs> that's just nice when they charge your weapons. It's like, I know where you're looping back to. And that's not going to work. <laughs> See the shrine, but I do want to get that treasure that they were talking about. Maybe it has something to do with uh, um, the daybreaker and whatnot, because I didn't see how we're going to get those weapons yet. That sword fell out. So possibly. Yep. So cool now. Oh, we don't need all these. <laughs> he breaks super fast. There's a swordsman. I love how this still works. <laughs> Sandseal? Who's that? <laughs> Never heard of him. Close to the Yiga area. I always want to check out what was different about that. <laughs> They're gonna watch me. They got the whole squad watching. Yeah. <laughs> Tail, please. Oh, no. I gotta do something about these camps that's a little different. Yeah, we could go about it the way we have been. Or we could build a little something fun. <laughs> Leads right into it. Yay! <laughs> Did they notice me? It's possible. Yep. So we back out. You guys, you'll be needed in a moment. Now's not the moment. I need to try out a little something. <laughs> you lose your weapon. You're, st you're still following me? Okay, good. Sorry, we have to let something else do the work now. Homing carts? <laughs> Automatically hits for monsters. Hmm. 
It has a little tail and everything. Okay. So what if we just put some... Uh... Do I need another contract head for this? I don't know. Be worth a shot. <laughs> a mouth and an eye. I'm constantly freezing them. But well, that could be a good plan and we can keep hitting them out. <laughs> okay, cards. My killer Roomba is gonna be at it. Don't worry. No huge harm or anything, it's just gonna be a little silly. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, he's trying to hit him back. Yeah, that's not doing too much. It's gonna keep going to the same one. Ow! Why are you not attacking the one that's attacking me? It's back. It keeps getting pushed because of the arrows. It's trying right now. It's backing up. It's gonna constantly blast him with frost. I was bumping into him too. Yeah, you're shattering him out. Bonk. Bonking. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> well, that's cruel. Wait a second. We can't get too far. There we go. Please freeze him too. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Okay, that's a very single tracked brain. <laughs> Which I, I feel that. Also, my death counter is not working. Just all my overlays stop working like the other day. I have to like remake them all. My death is at 54, it's going to 55. Yeah, it was like my camera wasn't on, my uh, literally anything. I don't know why. But 55 deaths. I'd like re remove the source and re add it. I think an update broke it or something. Oh, sorry, fruits. Let's hope it still... It did not keep that, did it? Um... Just rebuild them. But this time something a bit different. We have Frost and Beam. Keep them at bay. You don't want any part of this, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Beam should go right in the target. I get that. That is very much still the wrong way. I know this is dangerous, but I live for danger. I'm good at maneuvering. That's all I'm not. There we go. We put that wrong. It's okay. Like that. <laughs> I can juke out these archers pretty decently. There we go. <laughs> Once you get used to it, it's not that bad. I'm just trying to build and he's trying to distract me, you know, so. Okay, that time I actually almost messed up. Now you go. Okay. Finish him off. He's going to slowly move to his target. You don't want any part of this. The beam's working for him. Oh. There you go. Peel him out. Yeah. Wait, that's a deadly combo. The Roomba of death. Uh-oh. Don't let the ice get close. You can't let that happen. You're going to be... Oh, there you go. <laughs> what the hell? That just isn't fair. <laughs> Beating him into him. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's all it takes. <laughs> Goodbye. That's the best combination. Right here first. <laughs> what if he you know, he's not going to follow me during it, but... <laughs> My death Roomba. <laughs> We're instantly adding that to our favorites. Yep. After we remove a stupid one. Like that. That one doesn't work. Uh... <laughs> Death Roomba. 
save. Yeah. <laughs> that was just too good. Okay. Love that vibe there. No issue. I guess this whole thing's past the camp, isn't it? Hmm. It's no longer a monster camp. It used to be in the Dust Bowl and there was a, like a Lizzle base here. It was really cool. But it's cool bear, too. Why can I... I can. More statues there. We're getting tons of croc stuff just everywhere. Aha. Make it on. Yay. <laughs> Almost didn't. A lot of forward momentum. But it was accounted for. <laughs> Done well. out is that a sandfall or just a very bizarre rock wall at least like the end of the dust bowl that's I don't know powering the mushroom yeah. What the? Ah! I might have always been there, just there was always this dust bowl, so I never saw it. That's likely the case. <laughs> Didn't want to do lightning overkill, but we could have, couldn't we have? I think just everything led to that, uh, well, this, I guess. Like, like, yeah. Okay, that was overkill. Go! Oh! That was underkill. That was just not good. Oh, go! Damn it. Yes, not damn it. Wait, it didn't. Oh, Boomer barely does anything to him. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't make that critical thing. So boomerangs aren't good against like likes, apparently. Yep. Don't need that, sorry. I've been using the same radiant shield since the beginning of this area. Um, what was this? I don't know. I'm gonna use this for the first time, probably. It feels like that, at least. Bye bye. West Gerudo Underground Ruins. Yep, they're still pointing inward. <laughs> oh my god, all these old Gerudo structures are so cool. It speeds it up. 
by quite a bit. <laughs> I love exploring when everything feels out of time. There's just so much rock, though. So does it expect me to break that any other way? Uh, I don't know. I'm just happy we have Kinobo. Still better than any bomb. And easier to get to. I guess I'll alternate. You know, you know it was free, but still. Speedier. Maybe just follow, follow the directions. Cause... Easy switch. I do like that. Yeah, only lasts so long. Yeah, that just takes a while. <laughs> and all durability. Even if we keep making new ones. But you're in, right? Nope. You were. Just <laughs> caved in. Oh, enemies. I gotta check it all out, though. Aha. An area at last. <laughs> Shield another one. Okay, we'll swap you out with uh. Eh. Yeah, <laughs> we don't need all those. We just have that one extra for whenever. There's some tech that we could probably put on that, but I just love my Gerudo. I look nice just plain as. All the wood things like extra durable. It's just wood. Compared to like metal stuff. It's all rusted. Which, yeah, the rust doesn't help. I still gotta know the durability stats for everything. I don't know all the base durabilities by heart, so. But obviously, the restored stuff has more. So. Durability and damage. Gotcha. Through there. This is the reason why I got all these bombs for things like this coming up. No Bullman. It's a bit further in there. On the right way, I assume? Oh yeah, leading us in, okay. So it wasn't just looking at a back area, it was a forward area. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, 
was cool. Yeah. And of course, a lever. What's this? <gasps> the Divine Helm! Oh, of course he led us to that. <laughs> Deeply bond the... Deep in the bottom with the Gerudo when worn by a Hylian. Okay. That was a very fitting reward. Because all the statues led to it. Heavy lift. That was a cool place. It's it's that ancient now, huh? There's still the bubble frog though. And I heard I'm over here. Yep. Love these abandoned ruins. You know what we have for that? We have change target. We have sensors for everything. Yeah. So we have to break every wall. I believe it was here, though. What? Maybe up high? Might be. Secret of the secret. What's the gems for? Mana gems? Okay. And we need the sapphires as well. Because probably after we do our diamond trade, we're going to need another 10 sapphires. What are we at for gems? I want to know. I probably passed them all again. Yes, we are at 8 diamonds. Hmm. If we have 10, we make 5,500 rupees. But I just need to find how to get 10 more, or two more. It's me. I just like exploding everything. Imagine breaking every rock in this place. Because <laughs> most rocks don't like respawn. Unless there's like a quest to it. Yeah, chest I could do. With the evil and put a chest in here. I mean, it might allude back to that one that didn't open, but let's see. Oh, I did open that. Never mind. Okay, I think we're good. That was a cool structure. Underneath the bone. I don't know. Just these sand runes are perfect. All of these, the heroin stuff, the uh, pyramid now. Wow. Yeah, that was such an odd location. I think I seal. It's like those guys. Okay. We can also see what we need for our armors. I'm thinking about that now, too. Maybe if we get a war point, we can check that out. Like that one. Oh, the quark platforms are still there now. But seeing what I need to upgrade is always a good idea. Nice. Ah! Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you weren't close anyways, sorry. Here, do you need a hand? <laughs> You're gonna watch me. Oh, that's. A oh, that time you were prepared. Not a common sight. 
Some small credits there. There we go. You know, you guys just finish him off. Or, sure I will. <laughs> it's too OP. Let's see what we need to upgrade the champion's helmet. Because we put it on, it's just, uh, I think it enhances Riju. I can't fully tell, though. Yep, Riju's right there. I think it's only the damage, so. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I don't know if the ability gets better or what. But yeah, sure cool with the helmet, though. Swords away. We're both wearing it. I'm just wearing the Divine Beast version. Oh, it's a construct base. Oh. And they're protecting the shrine. And that's how you get to the Yigai area. Okay, cool. I like this. I like the canyon a lot too. They really changed that. Which was nice to see. Getting these two first. <laughs> the standard issue Mark One Zonai car. It's gonna be a chest nearby. Okay. This is kind of working. I don't know if the requirements are for it to work. It just kind of does. We need it to. I still need to find out a three. Whoa. Don't shoot me now. You could flurry bullets, you know. Oh! He was waiting for that one. An opportunist. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> what is a sand chest? Oh. <laughs> oh, that does the trick. <laughs> Have fun sinking. Oh, wait, these float. They don't sink. But that would sink, maybe. Move around. Thank you. Shield. Oh no, what? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That was indeed a chain of events. Oh. That's my good shield. Okay. You know what's got my back. Oh, there we go. And Tulin, of course. I can never find a Captain Construct 3. I swear they're just not in the game. <laughs> Oh. I'm not in the game either. <laughs> not anymore, at least. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that'll be death number... 56? Okay. Ugh. Battle tip. <laughs> Oh, didn't even say the loot. Oh, yeah, because I never opened the chest. This is harassing. There we go. Uh, bye bye, Zone Charge. Now. Damn it. Not a gun. Cross the meter. Uh-oh. 
Yep. I understand your one-shot capabilities. Man, I really don't want to deal with that. Ooh. There we go. Girl Spear looking really nice now. Because you're no longer a boomerang guy. Or a bow guy. I know the difference. Okay. Bug on me. Woo! <laughs> you should not have done that. <laughs> Quick charge! That's why. Yep, we got the so soldier fours. Anything four. Why stealth stuff exists? Bye bye. And then, okay, get rid of the chilies. Nice. Is this bow better than what we currently have? Not really, but it's not damaged. Sorry, Knight's bow. There's like a gnat on me. I'm just like. What are you doing wrong here? Oh, there was one more. And this shrine's crooked. I don't know if the crookedness persists, but I guess we'll see. Hmm. Bridging the sands. Okay, I think after this shrine, maybe, I'm probably going to take a little break, and I may stream a little later, because I feel like I do want to eat dinner. We'll see, though. I know tomorrow I won't be able to stream during the day. Um, I'll be busy during the day, but I do want to do a night stream. Maybe more depth or something. I don't know. It's been really nice though. I just don't have as much playing endurance today. Oh, what the? It's a swing around, okay. However that worked. I love our sand stuff though. That was a hidden path. Oh, we need to build over it. Oh. How'd that get up like that? I have no idea sometimes. Just like that. Simply done. Get folded. Uh-oh. Not easily. Whoop! You shouldn't have fired at me. Would have given you a bit of mercy. That's a lie. Oh, I think I did something important. I love how all these sand shrines are just big and open. It's a whole sea. Oh, we need to get over here. <laughs> that's the only thing that spawned. Oh, that's cool. We like that. <laughs> it's okay. Me draw first. That's all you needed. Okay. Love building my sand speeders. You're yeah, seeing the other stuff in the desert is gonna be so cool though. I can't wait for like the Yiga and whatnot. Oh, well, that was actually pretty good. Unintentionally. I like the shrine. Ooh, nice. Look at those good potions. I don't think I made myself a level three yet. Oh. <laughs> Move, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Goes up the ramp. Uh, not safely. 
But this one's guarded. Oh, but we need that. Yeah, I really like this shrine. <laughs> I like how it just kind of stays in there because it's not very deep. Uh, anyway, it works. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. We're a little too late. No. <gasps> oh, the chompies are at the end. <laughs> Keep going. I know it's awkward. It's not gonna be awkward and still work out. I did not say easily though. Oh, we need to bring that. There's a few things, aren't there? Okay, fishing that one. Let's get the Mark II ship. How can we get? Oh, yeah. It's a mini open world over here. Got everything to do. What if I slide? It'll be heavy for sure. But maybe that's all I need. <laughs> yeah, I think the weight's just gonna be a problem. We need another fan. That's... I got prevented from being mashed. Okay. I will take the fan off. There we go. Hello, Mark 1. There we go. This is acceptable. Hello. <laughs> Come back for you in a moment. Is that enough? I hope so, yep. <laughs> this should be plenty. Also, like how there's a ramp leading up to it, but there's a ladder, so. Let's pick your poison, I guess. Yeah, that should do a bit better. Kind of lopsided, but the power is there. There we go. Yep. Need two fan power. And then eventually it will work. Given due time. Third would have been nice, but also taking more time. Let's go be a quicker ride back. Because we don't need this whole thing. <laughs> Better be ready for me, Constructs. It's gonna be hell to pay for making me wait this long. They're probably responsible for the sands. Uh-oh, can we turn in time? <laughs> get away from the pillar, yeah. So we just have to not get shot. That's the other problem here. I believe in the luck odds. Just look down. If you don't want to get shot in this game, just look down. Oh, there was also a send, isn't there? <sighs> yeah, I forgot about a send. <laughs> yep. No, that is the easy solution. But oh well, I brought this over, so I'm doing it this way. Uh oh. Send it anyways. Okay. Go. Yes. No. Oh, come on. What it stupid. Okay. You got this. You got this. Yep. Skills. Good skills. Yes. Woohoo. We did it our way. Anti ascend. Uh oh. You were not supposed to do that. No. That was just me. <laughs> Not assessing the situation. 
Okay, we did it in our own special way. Drop it on. Oh, it's right. I'll catch up to you. No problem. Just give me a moment, though. Oh, we got to build the ramp to get the ball up. I see. First, we have some other treasure <laughs> in our sandy adventure. Go. Okay. Let <laughs> me turn around really quickly. Oh, that's not how we turn around. No, I don't. I don't want to be mashed potatoes. No. <laughs> I'm now mashed potatoes. <laughs> Not good. We're back here. Well, thank you for the other chef. This is really fun, even though I'm doing like half of it. Not quite right. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm really just screwing up everything. And away we go. <laughs> Sled boards. It's at least very fun. <laughs> Wait the ball. Oh, I thought it was a little mashy thing. I'm like, no. Thank you for making this one pretty simple. Mine though. Wait. Just stay in the full two seconds. <laughs> there we go. That was an awesome shrine. And we got all the loot. I love ones that are bigger like that. M mini world that was I had the Santee getting in, so. Neato. <laughs> More orbs. I think that brings up us up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Nice. Probably get to 15 and then save a bunch to do more. Because I don't like having just like one or two hearts in the next row. It's like one of those pet peeves in old Zelda games. But now we can control, control that, so. Alright, final construct. Final couple constructs. Okay. Well, that was fun. Sorry, I just don't have as much playing endurance today. I, yeah. Just check out the ruins and stuff was cool. And there's still a lot more in the desert to do. Been in the town. Uh, stuff with the Yiga. The, definitely the depths below, too, will be really cool. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm just kind of tired. I think I want food. Um, so, I will have to call early today. Um, if I go live later, I'm not too sure. I might. Uh, I'll see how I'm feeling after dinner. But for sure, I will be going live tomorrow night. Um, yeah, I need that stuff. It's kind of fair game right now. So I'm just kind of enjoying it at um, wherever the sands take us, really. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, check the live playlist like an hour to see what we're doing. Because um, I don't fully know myself, honestly. I'm just going to kind of feel out feel today. And then definitely later tomorrow, like 6 p.m. Eastern, maybe we'll go live. So maybe more depth then for sure if we didn't do it tonight. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'm sorry, I don't know where my energy went. Uh, just like having fun, but it's like, yeah. Um, let's see. Got my stats video out this morning. So if you do want to check that out, it's like a four minute watch. It's just on fusing durability and how that kind of uh, makes sense of the game. How objects add durability to your weapons when you fuse them and how it varies per weapon. So just a little short stats of the kingdom video, but our first one. And we'll make like little ones as we go. Um, just stuff that can be understood without knowing the entire game so we'll make even bigger ones once we beat it too so yeah thanks for watching that video is in uh 
the uh, just our channel's video tab, but it'll be in the description after the stream. So thank you, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys pretty soon then. Uh, check the playlist, then goodbye. <laughs>